What's up? It's your man G. Back with another mod. Um, always love modding things. Uh, recently, I just got into uh, drones, which seems to be the big topic for uh, 2015 and now into 2016. And uh, I picked myself up a Hubson H107D. FPV, which is the bad boy you see on the screen. Here it is in real life. Um, first little mod I did to this one was that uh, the little plug here, where you plug in the battery, was sticking out the back here. So I just routed it through the side of the inside and got it sticking out here. I had to disconnect this little piece, which if you push in these uh, two little prongs right here, I don't know if you can see them too well, see if I can get in focus, sorry for the bad quality, but there's two little pieces here, these two little tabs over here, two little tabs right there, you push those in, you can pop this thing off, the little white thing, which is like the clip for the battery. And uh, you can get it around here. And over here on the side, there was a cutout for some strange reason when I got this. I guess they're all like that. There was a little cutout right here. I guess it was for a button that they never used. And they just used the, I don't know, the shell to another Hubson drone or whatever. But anyway, I used that little cutout to route the little connector right there. Now there's another mod where you can replace this camera here, I mean this, uh, excuse me, this antenna here, and you can route, route it like facing downward over here or any, anywhere, and some people put it on top. Um, I don't know, I'm thinking about that. I don't know if I want to do that to it. The blades have gotten a little nicked up from flying it. I'm still a novice at this, so I'm just you know, getting into it. But I, I mean, I I fly pretty good. I've I've flown my 450 helicopter and my other uh, 150 helicopters from Waikera. So I mean, I picked up the drone thing pretty fast. It's not rocket science, you know. I can hover it pretty well. So that's the H107 D drone. FPV flies real good. Uh, comes with a uh, 380 milliamp battery, which gives me around five to six minutes. Um, flies stable. Uh, one thing I do recommend is blades. Get yourself a shitload of replacement blades because they get nicked up, and I I bashed it around a few times. They get nicked up. But this is a good little starter drone. I started with this X Copter. This is a little badass drone right here. About like four minutes flight time, but this thing, I mean, I've I've even dropped this in water. Got it right out real quick by accident, dropped it in water and took it right out, dried it up, and she's still going. She's still flying. This little X copter is no joke. I, I like this one. I I kind I started with this. Now I'm on the Hubson, and this is the remote for it. Cute. It's got uh the trims on it over here on the side, and it does flips. Actually, no, the trims are up here, and I believe this one changes it from normal mode to. Uh, like uh, professional mode or whatever and uh, this does the flip this sets the flip and then you like toggle it and throw it or side and it flips it so yeah this little X copter I'm not too sure who makes this but this is a badass little drone comes with a 100 milliamp battery about four minutes flight time Anyway, the purpose of this video was for 
another mod so you saw that first mod on the connector so I did another mod and I saw this on YouTube and uh, gave it a shot now everybody's taking the controller apart with the screen and everything and they're putting lipo batteries in this so I gave it a shot and I did it I changed the connector um, you can without a voltage regulator put a 7.4 volt on this now I don't know if you can see that clear this camera's shitty quality but anyway it says 4 to 13 volts right there and over here it says GND for ground I think you could use these two connectors here as well to route a new connector but this is 4 to 13 volts here now some versions of this on the board will just say 6 volts right there but people have gone and put a 7.4 volt battery on here uh, lipo just changing the connector and it works fine like you don't need a voltage regulator to do to you know put the lipo because let me tell you even with uh, nickel, nickel cadmium yeah, NICAD batteries rechargeables this thing sucks up batteries like no joke and I'm sure there's plenty of other, other videos of uh, users that can vouch for that this thing just it eats them for breakfast I mean literally so the tray that was in here was this I broke the pieces in the middle that separate the batteries this goes in here so my first intention was to use the battery that I have which is a uh, Venom 7.4 2400 milliamp battery to put in here but it, I didn't want to have to leave the battery in there so it made it kind of hard with this in there to take the battery out and I didn't, I didn't want to have to you know leave it in there and charge it the reason why you know I wanted to be able to take the battery out and charge it so leaving the tray in there didn't help much I couldn't get the battery out I mean it fits snug another thing I noticed is that when you take this out let me get the battery real quick When you take the tray out and you pop in the battery, now this is again uh, Venom Lie Power, I think. It's, anyway, it's a 7.4, 2400 milliamp battery. When this sits in here and you got the cover all back and everything, and you put the cover back on because you're eliminating the tray, this kind of helps the lid to the battery cover like sit flush so when you put this back on it just doesn't sit flush like it used to I mean it see it, it comes off too easily for me it's, it's a nag putting it in so it's like you gotta put it in at an angle anyway so putting that battery in there putting the lid in there it kinda rattles in there it rattled, trust me. It's, it just doesn't sit flush. And it doesn't look too professional in my taste. It just, you can see the inside of that. And who cares, right? It's all covered up. Anyway, what I did was make this. I attached a little piece of foam to it. This piece of plastic I got off of a CD cover. I broke the other half and cut it up. Here's the cut piece. Right, there it is. That was the other half. It was like a little thin CD cover I had. So I cut that up, made this, sanded the edges down, make, you know, try to get it to fit in there as best as possible. So what I did is I put this in there. Voila. Now I got like a little tray in there. Battery sits flush. Okay. Cover goes back on, nice and tight. And now the battery. See how easy that was. No rattle. I 
and I could easily take the battery out and you, it looks more professional, it looks more stockish for me, I mean, you know. So that's another mod I did. Another mod I'm considering and for the life of me, with all the videos that I've seen on the mods that have been done to this little drone, um, this was one of them I saw, but literally people were taking the LiPo batteries and instead of opening this up and try to figure, they were hot gluing the battery to like the back of this with the wire coming out and connecting whatever. For whatever reason, they were hot gluing the battery to this like that and I couldn't understand why people just, I don't know. And then another thing they were doing is taking the... 5.8 gigahertz antenna up here and hot gluing it to the top up here because this wire right here can give you but so much and they were taking this bring it on the top here to get better reception I guess for the uh, video and they were hot gluing it up here for the life of me people please stop using hot glue you know put a little incentive to your mods and try to make them look a little bit more decent I mean, I've seen a few videos like that where everybody was just using hot glue, hot glue, hot glue. Even on the drone, like, there's a wide-angle lens mod, which I ordered, which is the uh, the Jelly f uh, Fisheye Lens. Uh, CaliBrothers.com has it. And I think they're out of stock, but there's like a, a wide-angle lens you could put on here. And they hot glued the fucking thing. I mean, it just looks bad. I don't know. It's a great mod, but... I mean, can you figure out another better way to put it on there? I don't know. Hot glue just, you know. And then another mod with the antenna back here. They hot glue it to that, too. You know, they, they use hot glue for everything. I guess it's, I don't know. I, it, there's better ways. I mean, if I consider doing the mod, I'll make another video on my finished product. When I order the lens, I'm going to set it up and see how I'm going to attach it to there. But definitely will not be with hot glue. It's like everybody's using hot glue on these things. I don't know. But yeah, this is my finished product right there of the LiPo battery mod. And again, it was made from a, a piece of um, plastic off a you know, disc tray. And I just used some double-sided tape to put that foam on there which is this stuff right here. This stuff works good. This is extreme mounting tape from Scotch. You get a roll of this from Home Depot for like eight bucks. This is good stuff. This is the stuff I would use to maybe mount the antenna up here. You know, put some adhesive. You know, like why use hot glue? I don't I just don't get it. I use the piece of it right here to cover my solder points I just wanted it covered and I just didn't peel off the back piece I just left it on there but I mean I use this stuff faithfully faithfully use this stuff I mean this stuff is strong very strong and this is just an old battery that I was using on my uh, one-fifth scale truck to you know on the receiver with a voltage regulator of course on that because um, Futaba receivers um, usually six volt. You have to use a volt, but on this straight plug and play, all I have to do is change this connector, and it literally turns on. I'll plug it in now and show you. Like you get even with a full set of um, rechargeable batteries, the NiCad batteries, you you still wouldn't get like a full bars on the. So I'm going to turn it on with this button holding down and um, it shows you like the version. You could also see the, see I got 8.1 volts there. See that? Again, I apologize for the camera, but this is showing me the version and up there you can see 8.1 volts. So when I turn it back off and turn it back on to normal, you can see that. And press this to get this. See? Full bars. 
fully charged. Even with a full charge of NICAD batteries, it would still be like one one bar down. But as you can see, it works. No voltage regulator, you know. So by just putting this on, routing a little wire through the slot there, see, you got the little balancer wire there. See, nice and snug. Put the cover back on. Look at that. Nice, huh? Where's the battery lid? What happened to the battery lid? Oh, here it goes. And the battery lid goes. Look at that. No rattle. Full battery. So that's that. So yeah, stop using hot glue. I don't know why everybody's using hot glue. I don't know. But that's that. And um, I'll probably just leave that sitting there like that. I won't put no double-sided tape on either side. Because, I mean, it's not going to fall. It doesn't fall out. But yeah, I might consider this mod to put this up here to see maybe if I get better uh, video gain by doing that. Everybody's boasting about it. And saying that it does give you better gain when you're flying, you know, several meters away or whatever. I don't know, I just don't want to, like, ruin the look of the stock. I mean, pretty much, you know, at close range, a few meters, it, it doesn't give me much problem. You do see some, some static in the video when you're playing it back the further you get away. And they're saying by moving that antenna up, up to the top. Uh, you get better gain from it. I mean, it is possible. There's enough wire to get it to come out and just sit up here. But again, just use double-sided tape, like, you know, that, the good stuff, and put it on there. Like, it does, it's not rocket science. But anyway, there'll be some more mods that I'm going to be considering for this little drone. Again, I'm waiting for the lens to come in. So I could check out that fisheye thing. And um, I'll post it up. Again, I'm just getting into the drone, so I'm always the one-fifth scale. I got a few one-fifth scale videos. I'm sure some people have seen them already. Uh, yeah, so give me a like, subscribe. I'll be back with this little sucker right here. And uh, see what happens. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.